This is Kill Squad. Uh, I haven't played a lot of it yet, though it feels like I've chosen the right time because uh, the game seems to be in a very festive mood. Um, it's a Diablo-like co-op focused mission-based combat game. Uh, so we started out in this lobby. I can look at uh, the different heroes that are available. There are four, apparently. Um, I've only tried out a couple of them. Like this guy, I've uh, unlocked a couple of outfits for him, whatever. Uh, it's been actually a couple weeks since I've played this, so I can't tell you any details about him. Uh, but you can look at, you know, breakdown of each of their uh, attacks over here. This guy, uh, you know, he's mostly a shooter. I think at least one of these guys is, me yeah, this guy's melee primarily. Um, and I haven't played either of these, but let's, uh, oh, no, I think I played this one, this one, and this one. I have not played this character. So they seem to have a floaty sword, which is cool. And uh, fancy pants. I like fancy pants. So let's stick with fancy pants here and select a contract. So I think you're playing a bunch of like kind of fantastical sci-fi mercenaries and you can just sort of choose the, I think the difficulty level that you want. So vector five seems to be my difficulty level. Let's do a simple kill mission and we're ready. I'm pretty sure a co-op player could join me at any time, so we might see someone join me. Or, you know, it's the middle of the day on the West Coast, so maybe we won't. Oh, is that a dress? I thought it was just really baggy pants at first. Or a skirt, I suppose. It's probably a skirt. Anyway. Okay, so I can run around with WASD. I click the left mouse button to slash with my sword. Let's see, it looks like right does something. It throws a thing. Oh, hey, I got a friend. Cool, this is another player. Well, I should stop screwing around and play with them. They probably know what they're doing better than I do. Maybe I should follow them. I didn't really get a chance to try out my uh, other abilities. I appear to be tanking for the group. What's E? Oh, neat. Looks like it's kind of short range. Like I should have waited till I was right here to do it. It looks like I've got a locked ability. I don't know if I unlock it with ongoing progress. Or if it's, like, unlocked, like, in the middle of combat or something. Well done, old chap. There is loot you can find around here sometimes, but I think it's not directly in front of us right now. Oh, he's got a shot that passes through enemies. I think I remember that from when I was playing as him. Ooh, I've leveled up. Upgrade available. I. Oh, do I hit F1 to upgrade? Well, let's uh, try that in a second. Oh, dimensional tear. I already increased my. I assume dimensional tear is my E. Yeah, it seems to have a wider reach now. So I assume that uh, in an ideal world, I will already know what a lot of the uh, a lo what a lot of those upgrades do, and I can just make those decisions very quickly. It is a nice sort of simple, out of the way HUD for if you already know what you're doing. This guy has gone way ahead of me. I got a little distracted. Several of the characters I've played have, ha have had crowd control abilities that are mostly about knocking enemies down. Like that guy, only he's dead. By pure chance, I think I've chosen the right place to stick my face on the screen. There seems to be no HUD in the lower left corner, which is uh, probably intentional. 
they're probably deliberately carving out an area where streamers can just stick their faces. Oh, by the way, I've got a, uh, I've got a dodge. I'm really not sure what these areas on the ground are. I assume they're coming from my friend, so they're probably good. Just because they look like... I don't know, maybe maybe I'm making them, but I don't know how I'm making them. What am I doing? How does anything work? Oh, interesting. Okay, so I think I'm figuring out this ranged attack. I think the ranged attack is a teleport with an area effect hit. So I'm still clearly a melee character. Still clearly a melee character, but uh, I, can st I can also cover some ground. Okay, that definitely was not at my feet, so something he's doing. Ow. Yes, take that, all of you. Inter Whoa, I can't attack all of a sudden. Is this a thing that's been done to me? None of my attacks are working. Why, why, why are my attacks not working? That's really weird. Oh, this is face. Hmm. Seriously, I can't. I can't attack anymore. Is this a bug? All I can do is move around. Oh, that's odd. Well, I've leveled up while I am incapable of attacking. That's great, I guess. Um, I feel like, is there something I can do about this? Input? Yep, all this stuff is true. Fault, defaults? Uh, no, don't return to lobby. Yeah, I cannot attack. Let me try leaving focus, coming back. No. I just, I just can't attack. Oh, this is weird. Okay, so part of me wants to leave, but I've got this other player playing with me. And if I leave, it just ends the game for them without achieving the objective. But achieving the objective is gonna be hard if they don't have my help. I mean, I guess I can just sort of attract enemy attention, try to get them to attack me instead of him. Oh, this is so strange. I'm really sorry, dude, and I wish you could hear my voice. Can I talk to him? Yes. Locked out of my attacks. Okay, so that's appearing behind my face. So that's why you couldn't see me chatting with him. Hopefully he can see what's happening. Type it again. Attack buttons not responding. I hope you can see that. Okay, I can interact at least. Force field. Let's grab a force field. Sure, why not? So yeah, they got those little stores that you can buy stuff from. That's cool. So interacts work. Why? Why don't attacks work? <laughs> Oh, this is so strange. If you're watching this on YouTube later, uh, I'm sure you're mystified as to why I put this on YouTube when it's about the least interesting way to play this game. Just running around in circles and making excuses. All right, well, I guess I'll... 
Hey, you guys. Just keep focusing on me for a bit. And now I'm level 8. Alright, well, this guy should probably get the health pickup. Unless... Maybe these respond separately for us? He doesn't seem to notice it, so I'm just going to assume it's for me. This is bizarre. I would assume that my mouse is broken or that my keyboard is broken, except that I'm able to move and aim just fine. Holy crap. Okay, there's a lot of uh, targeting areas on the ground. So I think this is... Oh, this isn't even the big guy we're fighting. This is just a mini-boss. I'm glad this guy's good at soloing. This game also does a really good job of marking where things are going to happen. Like, you never have any doubt about whether an attack is going to hit you. You know, it's... The game tries its very best to not surprise you, just be very clear about everything, and then it's up to you that you'll use the information that you're given. I mean, ugh. So I'm just going to try to run around in front of these guys, get their attention, so they're likely to stay with me instead of shooting at him. This is so weird. Oh, is this a dead end? So we've got this this radar style map in the lower right corner. Uh, does not show you an outline of the map. So you gotta, like, when there's a wall between you and your objective, you just gotta figure out what to do. Hey, over here, it's me, it's me, look at me. Yay, I got some stuff I can't use. <laughs> I mean, what I should do is like a clickbait uh, thumbnail on this video that's like, play, you know, play all the way through a kill squad mission with no attacks. No attacks challenge, kill squad. That's what it should be, no attacks challenge. <laughs> You're doing great, dude. This uh, Yoshido Maru Wasusaki guy is, uh, he's a pro, and I really appreciate him rolling with this terrible situation. I can't even dodge. All I can do is move around and interact. That's it. I mean, you can tell we're playing on the lowest difficulty level here. <laughs> because me surviving like this just shouldn't be possible. Hmm. It generates a knockback area around you. I think I have to actively... Okay, so I can activate these special attacks. So I can activate my these things here. Let's do it. Let's go solo the boss. And by solo, I mean he has to solo the boss. 
And I'm just gonna stand here looking pretty. I have no idea what these abilities do exactly. Wait, what did I just do? Oh, I used my my Q ability. And that worked? But why don't my other ones work? Oh, and now my abilities work again. What the heck? What the? I don't know what's going on. Uh, that was a really entertaining bug, I guess? I don't know. We probably have time for one more mission. I should give it another try and maybe play another character and uh, oh my gosh. Well, see, my problem is I'm kind of sandwiched between two meetings right now. I had a 12 o'clock meeting, uh, sorry, a meeting that ended at 12, and I've got a one o'clock meeting starting up. I don't want to start a mission if a mission is going to take me more than 25 minutes. And this, how long have I been streaming so far? 18 minutes? Okay, maybe this is going to work. I'm going to play that same mission again with a different hero, I guess. Let's, yeah, let's be... Be this robot guy. Yeah, that guy got out of there, and I'm not surprised. Okay, let's do same mission again, different character. So it should take about the same amount of time, and I'll get done with this just in time for my next meeting. So if I have a co-op partner this time, it'll probably be another rando, and uh, hopefully it won't be a case where I'm useless. All right, so here we go. Okay, so, oh, that's right. I've got like some kind of electro laser. I've got a trap that I can lay and I've got a big blasty thing. Let's see what that looks like when I'm, okay. Okay, blasty thing explodes on contact with enemies. and does wide area effect damage. That kind of does minimal damage. I'm assuming there are upgrades to that attack that'll make it more interesting. I definitely appreciated my previous character's ability to hit lots of enemies at once. Of course, actually, you know what? This beam might go through enemies. I think I need to be aiming it better. Let's let's try that next time. Wait, where? What? Ah, obstacle. Okay, where's? I'm pretty sure these levels are procedurally generated, which means they're not always designed with navigability in mind. Here we go. Okay, so it looks like it kind of locks on to an enemy, so I have to kind of carefully maneuver if I want to line enemies up and hit multiples of them with the same shot. Like that, that seems to be working. Oh, who's this? Yeah, so that trap, that trap attack is not very impressive. I and I can't even do it very often. Like, this attack I'm doing right now does 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, 30, tons of 30. But the trap, I think, only does 100, usually to one enemy on contact. And I got monies. So I'm pretty sure you can spend these monies later on to, like, upgrade your characters and stuff. Maybe, no, I think the actual gameplay relevant upgrades to characters are mid-game, but, like, I think I can buy, like, skins and stuff. Ooh, upgrade available. Hopefully this will not murder my character. Ooh, I can trap twice. So that's like this. Oh, okay, so the trap gets used twice. So I think my goal should be just update the crap uh, out of my traps and try to make them useful by the end. Do, 
Do, do, do. Maybe I should just attract a really huge pile of people chasing after me. Oh, nope, that's a terrible plan. I should definitely not continue moving forward. Nope. Ah, he hit me. Ah, I'm, okay, I'm trying to... I expected to be able to dodge through enemies, and that apparently is not a thing. Okay, there's a heal there. Ah, get away. Not helpful if you dodge into the blast radius of an attack in order to get a heal. That's just... Oh, they're dropping lots of heals now. Wonder why. Maybe because I suck? Okay, so it looks like my traps are more effective now. Okay, that was not well aimed, though. Okay, backtracking when being chased by enemies. That's way better. You're way less likely to just bring more enemies. I hope those heals that they dropped um, end up sticking around, though. I wouldn't be surprised if they've all expired by the time I get back there. Ah, no. Uh, this guy, still coming. Looks like, did he take more than usual damage from that? Okay, we're almost done with this group. I'm definitely not hitting my goal of um, doing this whole thing as fast as possible to get out of this room and get to my next meeting. Now let's see if we've still got the heals that they dropped up here. Nope, heals expire. Okay, good to know. I should have circled back earlier to get those. Overcharge laser, healing kit, knockback, trap, implosion. When dodging over a laser trap, this will release two energy waves making... Okay, let's try that. Oops, that's not how you dodge over it. Okay. Oh, the dodge recharges too? <laughs> okay, wow. Oh wait, this is a store. Let's grab something. Yes. Heals whenever I need heals. That'll be good. Oh wait. Oh, it's just a one-time heal. I thought it was a special healing ability. Okay, let's try this thing. Oh wait, no. I don't want to try that thing. When it's in the middle of some disaster. Oh, wait, I can drop I can drop heals? That's my shift ability? Okay, cool. I hadn't played with that one yet. Ah, oh, this monster. Alright, let's try out the trap. I think you should step into my trap. Thanks, buddy. level up. This time I'm flying solo, looks like, but that's fine. The last time was kind of an embarrassment. Oh, uh, mini-boss time, huh? Uh. Ah. Okay, when area attack move only, uh, I mean, area effect move only hits one guy. I'm not sure what that yellow is on his health bar. Are we, ah, ah! Hey you, you need to die. 
Come on. Come on. No loot. Okay, fine. Uh, okay, we're 270 meters from the goal. Is that a lot of meters? Okay. I'm not sure if that hit any guys. Looks like it might have, actually. Nope. Not enough of them, anyway. I like how the area effects, they don't just show where it's gonna land, but they also fill up to show how fast. You can really plan that way. Nice. guys down and now oh this guy come on oh you have so much health you have so much health one of my philosophies about combat balance is that an enemy should have not an amount of health that makes them difficult to kill but an amount of health that makes them interesting to fight. So once you've seen everything an enemy can do, and you're good at avoiding it, and you're good at damaging it, that's about the time the enemy should die. And if you feel like you're just sort of treading water, enemy's tuned wrong. In this case, it wasn't actually that bad once, uh, once I hit my pace. And actually, I think that the red was going down faster than the yellow. Is the yellow armor? Is it just a different kind of health? Oh, another one of these guys. I don't feel like I fought as many of these guys last time. Of course, I wasn't really doing the fighting, so... So what I really should be doing is setting traps in front of me while I run. And then dodging, and then dodging through him. I thought I had dodged through that, but I guess it didn't count. However, I did it. Maybe I had already crossed it when I started dodging. So many little baubles I'm picking up. Okay, 145. Gotta make it before my meeting. I am not gonna be late for my meeting over this. Oh, but I will stop at the store, obviously. Oh, well, let's get out of here. Oh my gosh, what the? Oh, I've got a friend though, sweet. Well, this should go a little bit faster then. All right, let's go, friend. Oh, you got a shop too? Oh, well, fine, I did, so why not? So far, I can't tell if the enemies are getting harder or more numerous, depending on how many players are playing. It, I mean, it looks like he got a group and I got a group to fight, but was that actually intentional or just chance? All right, hammer guy, let's go this, this way. This, what, are there more enemies that way? What are you doing? Dude, you're messing up my schedule. Let's go. Haha. <laughs> Area effect attacks are the greatest. That's what games like this are for. For just scattering a million enemies. Reminds me of Corpse Explosion in uh, Diablo 2.
Okay, we're at the boss gate. I've still got 10 minutes left. This is a good thing. However, oh, you know what? I haven't been buying all my upgrades. Let's get my upgrades. Self-medication, event horizon. And be energized. And wave trap. Okay. I don't know what any of those did. I just wanted to get them real fast. All right. Here we go. The big boss. Looks suspiciously like the mini bosses. Uh, so for those of you who have joined us late, named uh, McBeard86, this is Kill Squad. It's a kind of Diablo-like game. Uh, it's heavily co-op and mission-based. Which means you play in these kind of these short sessions, uh, which take about, you know, 15, 18 minutes, something like that. Like, we just finished one uh, in time for my next meeting. And, oh, I should pick up some, some treasure. Only got 10 minutes to grab the treasure. Some kind of, what is that, a gun skin or something? I don't know. Mission's over in three seconds. So we'll get out of here. And then I'll poke around in the UI a little bit before taking off to my meeting. So that's me. I'm the little red robot guy with the fuzzy, fuzzy collar. I wish, I wish I had a jacket like that. Looks great. We're friends. So this is just some rando. Anytime you play, you usually get matched with a rando. Okay, I'm rank two zero. And faction experience. So lots of big bars to level up. Looks like it takes a while. And I'm gonna disband this party. We are not going anywhere. All right, so. So I dressed my hero in uh, red because I felt like it. it. Doesn't have to be red if you don't want him to be. Where do I buy stuff? Okay, so improved equipment for Troy, Cosmo, Zero. Let's see here, how much? Okay, 90, 900 credits? Okay, so my laser will get overcharged doing more damage. It gets more, it gets fully overcharged. It'll be unusable for five seconds, okay. Deals plus 150% damage when overcharged. Sure. And then, oh, I could even get another one. Laser will get overcharged. Is this the same? Hmm. I don't know how any of this works. Okay, so you can just buy these alternate weapons and then I guess equip them on your heroes? Inventory. Okay, yeah, so I can pick which of these weapons I've got. Okay, so, okay, so that thing about overcharging the laser is pretty common. This one has a longer laser, and it does more damage with the tip. And a 50% chance of enemies exploding when killed. These are higher level. It's got, oh, it causes bleed damage for six seconds. Interesting. So I can pick whichever one of these I want. Oh, and there's other, okay, so there's a whole range of equipment I can unlock. Are there other things besides equipment? It looks like it's all equipment. Anyway, my meeting starts very soon, so I'm gonna have to get out of here. But this is Kill Squad, so if you really like Diablo-style games and you like to play in co-op, especially because it seems like uh, you know working together with your team is a, is a huge part of, uh, of what makes this game work, and if you like pretty unlockable rewards, uh, th this might be the game for you. I don't know. So I'm gonna very quickly uh, get out of here, do my normal uh, wrap-up stuff. Uh, there's some videos and my subscribe button, except if you're watching on Twitch where I'm just pantomiming nothing and it looks ridiculous.